I hope you'll enjoy watching this video and find something that you can use because I believe in sharing. I'm not a pro, but I always find creative ways to work with what I have. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. And why not join our Facebook group and share this? And it's free, free, free. This video is rated E for everyone. Avant-Garde Teacher here. Today we're making custom Bitmoji borders and Google Slides in 10 minutes or less. For this tutorial, you just need Google Slides and your Bitmoji extension, of course. Here are some of my finished borders that I made. You can even make certificates. Okay, let's get started. You'll need to bring up Google Slides and you'll go into or you'll click on the word slide. Then go all the way down to Edit Master. Then we'll click on the first slide and we'll take out all the words on the slide. Now go to your shape menu and you will choose a rectangle and then you're going to drag it across the screen and then we're going to recolor it and you can choose whatever color you'd like. I'm just resizing it to make sure it fits perfectly in that white space. I'll choose red, then go to shapes and grab another rectangle and drag it in the middle of the screen. And then I'm going to choose white. And there you go, I have a border now. Now I'm going to add my Bitmoji character to it. And I just drag and drop it in. And then I resize it and put it where I want. And I can move my white space around. And, and you can get it exactly how you want it. Now I'm going to put in a text box type a header at the top of this slide. I'll center it. And then I'm going to add some shapes. I'm going to skip ahead. You'll want to name this um, slide something. So click on rename and then name it maybe 3D shapes. We'll see why that's important at the end. I clicked out of the edit menu by clicking off to the left. And now we're going to go back into um, the edit slide menu by clicking on slides and clicking edit master. And we're going to do the next one. So I highlight it, but before I drag and drop, I want to bring your attention to the rulers. So here's your pro tip. If you are a detailed person and want to develop slides to sell on TPT or use the rulers um, to make the border symmetrical, you can do so. Otherwise, I just eyeball it. Okay, let's drag and drop and then resize it to fit the white space and then cover it. And it's just basically the same process. And you can use shapes, you can um, put text in there, anything that you would like to do. I'm gonna skip ahead again. If you make a copy 
of your new custom built borders, the copy will have your same masters that you custom. So you can see I made a copy and it kept my same borders. However, if I want to do something new or want to create different borders, I can just go and open up another Google Slides and you'll see it's the same original slides that we started with. That way it's nothing permanent. If you like these slides that I've made, I've included a link for a free template. It will just force you to make a copy and it's yours to edit and keep. Please share. Also, I've started an innovative Facebook group, so please join that as well. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe.